It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in Lidl recently and I picked up two beers. One being the Real Doomba from Sharps Brewery at £1.59. A clear glass bottle uh, described as an amber ale, 4.3% ABV. There's the bottle cap. And then this, £1.29, so... 30 pence saving, but this is Lidl's own brand, Hatherwood, and it's called Shark Bay Amber Ale. Same, you can see the resemblance, can you? Even down to the amber ale in the bottom left hand corner there. 4.3% uh, ABV. So this is Lidl's take on Sharp's Doombal. I think it's, I mean, they're not going to get. They're definitely not going to get caught up in any kind of legal dispute with uh, Molson Coors, who own Doomba. Well, because it, it's even though it kind of looks the same, and it definitely for me, I went, ah, yeah, that's Doom, that's a Doomba fake. It's far enough away from Doomba that I don't think they can do anything about it. So Hatherwood is the ale brand that Little use. Um, they're both 4.3% ABV. They're both in clear glass bottles. They're both 500 millilitres. This one's got the British flag. The Hatherwood has got the British flag on the top. So, without further ado, I've got a couple of pint glasses. I need to remember which is which. So I think what we're going to do is if we go Otter Brewery glass for the Shark Bay, that's how I'll, I will remember the beers. So let's start off then with the Shark Bay. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Doomba. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Both with a little bit of skunk on the opening. I'm just getting a bit of skunkiness in the air. So amber in colour, good levels of carbonation, one finger, slightly off-white head. That's the doom bar in the Harbour Ales glass. Here's the Hatherwood pour. Very similar. Very, very similar pause. It's actually the Hatherwood that's skunky. Yeah, it's definitely it's it's this one that's that's more skunky than the Doomba, in all honesty. It's created more of a head on the pour as well. There's no widget in the glass. We got a two-finger. Slightly off-white head, good levels of carbonation, amber-coloured beer. Desperate to get the beer in the glass here. How are we going to do it? There you go. Right, we're in. We're in and poured. Now we can grab the two beers together. And have a look so as you can see more even carbonation coming from the shark bay from Lidl and more of a head retention the actual doom bar which is 30 pence more heads dissipated quite quickly and it's not looking uh, for me personally in terms of desirability even though the beers look the same both amber in color the more desirable pint, I would say, would be the little Hatherwood here with that nice head, that nice creamy head. I mean, the Doomba is looking a bit, well, it's looking a bit like it's been sat on a bar for 20 minutes. You know, there's not much life about it. There's carbonation, there's carbonation there, there's life, but... Um, the other thing to note is that they're both not bottle conditioned beers. So, aroma on the Little Hatherwood. 
Yeah, there's a little bit of skunkiness coming through, which is slightly disappointing. Being an amber ale, you don't fully expect there to be skunkiness. If it was like a golden ale or a light ale, you, you, you would expect to come across that skunkiness, but not really in an amber ale. There's a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of spicy pepperiness coming through. A little bit of caramel malt, less um, a little bit of toffee. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Actually, it tastes okay. Actually, the the malt, the skunkiness is in the aroma, but actually that biscuit malt flavour is doing a lot of covering up here. <clears throat> a little bit of licorice, biscuit malt, toffee. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Quite a crude, sharp bitterness on the back end. Almost like an overly done bitterness. But for what it is, for £1.29 a bottle, it's not bad this. It's not bad at all. Right, just so we know. Shark Bay Otter Brewery. Doomba then. Sharps Doomba. Same colour. Less carbonation. Less of a head. Interestingly, interestingly, there's a widget on the bottom of this glass. So if anything, if any one of these beers should have had a head on it, it should have been Doomba. Because that Otter Brewery glass does not have a widget in the bottom of it. Or etching in the bottom of the glass. That etching in the bottom of the glass is there to create carbonation. It's not done a very good job here, is it, with this Chaps Doomba. No, no skunkiness at all. Much more of um, a, like a caramel malt aroma coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. It's kind of like, it's a bit thinner. It's, it's more refreshing, uh, but thinner than the little Hatherwood beer. It's got more of a watery taste, like there's less biscuit malt coming through. There's definitely more of a maltiness coming from the, the Shark Bay, which is exactly what it should do. An amber ale of, of, of any quality should really have a lovely toffee, biscuity, bready flavour coming from it. If any, well, the, the, the Shark Bay Amber Ale from Lidl is much more malty. If you bought this beer to be malty, biscuity, bready, then go for the Hatherwood. If you can get over the fact that there's a little bit more of a harsh bitterness coming from the Hatherwood, the Shark Bay, there's a little bit of skunkiness in the aroma, which doesn't really translate much in the taste. Then buy the Shark Bay. You're saving yourself 30p. You're getting more of a malt forward amber ale, which is exactly why you bought it in the first place. Uh, interesting fact about these beers as well. Um, they're both... The bottled version of Doombar. 
So I was down in Cornwall um, just last week. I was down in St Ives. And interestingly enough, all of the Doombar on cask is brewed in Cornwall. All of the bottled Doombar is brewed in Burton-on-Trent by Molson Coors. Now, judging by... Now, I, I think... Marston's do all of the brewing for Lidl's and their, their Hathawood beers. So again, Marston's Burton on Trent. So in, interestingly enough, these two beers are brewed in Burton on Trent in the same town. Let's see. Uh, do they mention? They don't mention it. They don't mention it, but... I believe it's brewed by Marston's. So I'm ready to rate this. Interesting, really interesting. I mean, look at the, look at the two beers. Shark Bay, lovely lacing, malt forward beer, Doomba. Doomba is becoming much more like Worthington's. Doomba replaced Worthington's about 15 years ago. It was a decision made by Molson Coors to roll back Worthington's cream flow and to introduce Sharp's Doombar into the main market. Um, it used to be a good beer, Doombar. Believe it or not, it used to be a really good beer. I used to like it. Much more like what we had here. But I'd say the last five years... Doombar's become much more like Worthington Cream Flow without without that kind of nitro. Um, it's just a really watery, bland. There's not much malt flavour coming through. It's more like they brewed a blonde ale or something and just coloured it. Just coloured it with some with some amber colour. That that's what happens. Uh, so I'm gonna rate it. Sharp's Doomba. It's really poor. Really poor actually. Watery. Not much drinkability. Boring. Five out of ten. <coughs> Five out of ten for me and L Craft Beer. <clears throat> However, 30 pence cheaper, great lacing on the glass, a little bit of skunk, but that means there's actually hops in the beer. This Shark Bay That's twice the beer. That is twice the beer of Doomba. Which it's aping. Which is copying. It's malty, it's biscuity, it's bready. There's a big hop flavour on the back end. It's really bitter. By the Shark Bay. If you were a fan of Doomba, if you liked Doomba before the, the beer changed beyond belief, then buy Shark Bay in Aldi. Uh, wrong one. Little. Five out of ten for Doomba. For the money, for the price, you're saving 30 pence here. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for Shark Bay. Hathawood Shark Bay, 8 out of 10. I hope you like this comparison video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!